Okay, Joanne asked me to show the changes that have happened in my property this year. So, we've done the labyrinth. Oopsie. We've done the labyrinth. So now, we're going to see. So now this I planted last year. This was a um, forsythia. There's a few more uh, lilacs under these lilacs that can come out. You've never been to Lilac Cove, have you? Well, you have, long ago. This is Lilac Cove. Look at this. Isn't that interesting? I guess I need to replace this hammock, don't I? And there's lots of little lilacs growing all around it. All of these can come out and go down to the side of the road down there. I don't usually come up here much anymore. I did have some lilacs, or some... Yeah, the lilacs are coming out further here. Um, I did have some daylilies up here long ago, but they don't look like they did very well, do they? And some irises. And this is the upside-down stump. It's got about a 10-foot tall trunk on it. And these awesome branches. And so I planted it upside down when I my son helped me bring it home. This is this is our carport thing. Okay, so Cedar Cove. Haven't been in this all year. Looks like the basswoods have grown a bit. Here's the cove. Jeepers, lots of things happen when you don't go for a year. The leaves made mulch. shelf got a little bit crooked here. So this is Cedar Cove. Needs these clipped. Clippers ahoy! continue on down the hill. Now last year I planted some little trees. There's a little tree there. And this is a little tree. Now what is this? This one kind of came up on its own I think. Oh, it might be an elm. If it were a hop hornbeam it would live, but the elms are going to die. Here's some of that stuff we have to get out. So we'll oh, nap weed. There's another little one. Is this an elm? I didn't do anything with this and it grew. Gotta put the trampoline back over here, I guess. These daylilies certainly have expanded, but these daylilies are all field ditch lilies, the orange ones. But at least they're there, at least something grows. There's a pine tree. 
I transplanted over to here one year. And look at this, it's growing. I get a little sidetracked when I see grass growing up in my bushes and trees. So this one looks like it's going to live. When I planted them, Frank said I put them way too close. So I had things every so often. But I knew that not everything would live. I pulled this up from the side of the road. Just pulled it. See, here's another something, but it didn't live. Oh. And this one, this is a maple. Oh, look at the walking stick. Look at that, he even has it looks like a little bit of seeds on the end of his tail. Hello, Mr. Walking Stick. We got you figured out. You're acting like a piece of pine needle today, aren't you? Okay. So now I'm going to plant some of these daylilies here in front of the teepee have to move some of that stuff and then I'm going to plant them along in the front. Alright, well that was just getting to the next thing so I guess it really wasn't about the changes in the greenhouse. It was more about the cedar cove and lilac cove. Okay, bye!